So it's the is the plan. So you come and see the bang of pans. They gonna make harnesses. So come and go to the seven zaganja. It's afternoon already. Yes, it's too hot. My name is Kingsley. I'm gonna be um one of the guys basically taking you guys uh, through this uh, um our our quad uh, outright. Basically, you're gonna do it a bit. I mean, a bit different. You guys, you know exactly what you actually want here. Normally, we take you about 12 kilometers, 15 kilometers, way in the jungle. Whatever happens out there, stays out there. You guys are in charge of the bike, the steering, the drama that I always see out there. You find somebody screaming, ah, get them going into the bushes. <laughs> screaming never stops the bike. You need to be familiar with your bike as I'm going to give you a quick a briefing on, of course, how to use this bike. This is uh, Popeye, he's going to be one of my, my friends as well. Normally, we split you guys if it's uh, 10 of you so that uh, the dust and you know, the pairs again, the way we guys drive is going mean, to be very different. So, when we go there, we're going to practice and see how we guys are doing before we get out, before we start hitting the bush. Okay. So different terrain that we'll be going through. We're going up, going down. Whatever happens, your brakes, right here, your bike, ignition, right here on your left, forward, neutral, and reverse. These are 350 semi automatic bikes. Mm -hmm. When you're going down, you don't really have to worry much about accelerating or anything like that. It actually will govern itself. And of course, the ignition right here at the top, one click clockwise, it gives you the green button. Only if your bike is on neutral. Are you guys together? Yeah. Okay, you need exactly to know what's happening with your bike. Only gonna start if it's on neutral. Right here underneath this uh, red button, that's the emergency switch. Really, I'm not going to confuse you guys talking about all these things. Just below it, there is this button. That's the one you push to start your motor. But remember again, clockwise direction, it gives you this green light, you know it's on neutral. If it's on forward, it's not going to start. And make sure the light is green, then you just push this. Happy days. Right here on your right, you have the accelerator. Accelerator is right here, using your thumb. And of course, the brakes right at the top. You can forget about everything. Remember your brakes. Yeah, right there. When you go for breaks, all four fingers up there you need to be a bit aggressive, especially when you're going down. When you're going up, you don't have to hold on the brakes. So you keep giving gas, going all the way to the top. Going down, of course, your brakes is right here. You are in charge of the steering. Okay. Okay.
about your experience as um, the marketing manager? I think the experience that we have just did now, it shows that uh, Pumalanga has a lot to offer in terms of these attractions. And I think the main reason for us to come out here is just to experience some of these things that we always talk about. So I think for you guys as well, we have experienced. We're still going to do more. We just did the pipe back now. We still got to do the supply and conquer those fear of height and all those things. So before you go down, I'm using the safety line. This is my safety. If you're ready to go, you come and stand here. I'm going to put this at the back of your harnesses. So I want to know a bit more about um, edu tourism. Is there anything that, as, as, as um, the agents that you're doing, to educate young people into studying um, tourism, especially in our university? Have you guys put that in a plan of like trying to groom young people to go for tourism? Yeah, exactly. We, we do that. We have partnerships that we're already doing with some of the TVETs and there's some universities that teach tourism. Uh, so that we inculcate the culture of traveling because it starts from schools. Uh, you know, the culture in South Africa is that traveling is only for white people. But the truth is that as the majority in terms of the population, black people also are equally capable. To travel, so we start from the young age, from schools like you see. We've got programs where we go and talk to them. We've got tourism awareness that we do throughout the year in various areas of the province, just to teach people about our tourism. I love you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> And with me on the side, I'm with Faith Subanyoni, which is one of the presenters of Kasi FM. And not just a presenter, a news reader indeed. Well, Faith, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, uh, it has been great being with you. Very awesome. And uh, you've experienced a lot more of activities in the Adventure Zone. How was it? It was very... Uh Amazing. I had the time of my life. Wow, what a time to be alive. Uh, thank you to MTPA, hashtag Bumalanga Rocks, you know, hashtag no regrets. I had really had the time of my life. We have welcomed the heat wave today on the 31st of October in a different dimension. As uh, next to me, I'm with the news presenter from one of the radio stations in MP, Rise of M, Sfisa Zulu. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, Adele? No, I'm great. I'm fine. How are you, Oh, that's great. That's amazing. Uh, tell us about the experience here at Ubuntu uh, Adventure. No, the experience was great. I thoroughly enjoyed myself, um, like you've already stated. It's a nice way to welcome the heat wave, enjoyed ourselves under the sun. Um, yeah, I totally enjoyed myself. I'm so glad to MCPA for bringing us on board and showing us uh, the adventures in Pumala. <laughs>